Hello everyone, it's Jessica here and I am back with another Technique Tuesday video for you today featuring negative space. So I'm going to actually use negative space in two ways. When I think of negative space, I think of white space on a layout. So I'm going to be using a lot of white space. Um, it's not going to be an actual white background. I'm going to use pattern paper today, but I am going to use lots of white space. And the other part of the negative space that I'm going to show you is this right here. I actually cut a big leaf cut file for a previous layout out of this patterned paper here, this plaid. And this is actually the leftover from that cut file. So I'm going to attach those layers together as you saw and then I did some machine stitching around it. So I just took my sewing machine and did that real quick and then I'm going to actually do a little bit of pattern mixing and collection mixing today. So I've pulled out some papers from the here and there collection and I'm going to use that to back my photos as well as embellish this layout. So the other collection that I'm using, which is the background papers and the leaf cut file paper, which was from the newer collection in the shop, it's called Cider and Donuts by Simple Stories, which I love that collection. I'm using some pieces from that. My baby girl is here, as you can see, she's been playing with her tractor in this video. And um, I think my son actually makes an appearance a little bit later too, but she is here playing and you see her cute little hands there. She's helping me a little bit. I'm going to do collection mixing in this one with those two collections and here I'm just using these papers and little bits and pieces to just add some layering behind my photo and add a little bit of interest there and pull in some more of these beautiful patterns in the collection. And I'm just going to rough up the edges with my fingernails to give it some distressing and I'm just trimming off any excess as I go. So super simple and easy. I love to add layers behind my photos. I really think that it makes them pop. This is a photo of my baby girl from her photo shoot last year when she was turning a year old. This year she's gonna be two. I did another little impromptu photo shoot with her this year. So I'm super excited to share those photos with you guys. Um, but for now, this is one from last year. You can hear her in the background now and she's playing. I'm gonna add this little scallop sticker on the left side. Scallops are one of my favorite things to add around my photos. So I'm going to add that there and just go ahead and stick down my photo at this point because I know that's where I want it to go. I'm going to pop my title on here somewhere in this general area. Um, I've got some white space on my photo as well at the top. So I figured that was a good place to put my title. Here's my little flower bits that I'm going to start adhering around my photo. I don't want to cover up too much of my leaf cut file and all of that beautiful stitching but I'm just going to embellish a little bit around my photo just to enhance that and kind of draw your eye back to the photo itself. So I'm just going to layer a few of these. I'm going to tuck a couple in behind and pop up some of these with some 3D foam squares by Gina K. They're my favorite ones. The backing is super easy to peel off. I really like the sizes that they come in and they seem to work well for me. So I'm just sorting through these. I'm going to add a little bit of these leafy parts to these as well. And I think I'm going to make three clusters. I really wanted to put something else down here towards the bottom because that was more negative space, but I'm covering a little bit of that up just kind of drawing the eye down to that big leaf cut file and um, I'm just going to enhance that a little bit and add a couple wordy pieces to that on the bottom. So I'm pulling out my Nuvo glue here which is what I'm going to use to tuck in all these little bits and actually glue them down to my layout. I don't need a lot I'm just going to add a little bit and then I'm going to rough up these edges just by crinkling them a little bit and pulling up some of the edges off of the page just for a little bit of dimension. That's one of my favorite things to do with these florals. I think it just makes them look so much more finished whenever you just pop them up a little bit. So I'm just gluing down my title at this at this point. It says thankful for you, which is just super cute and appropriate. I got the title pieces from the Cider and Donuts collection. They come in a, a nice big pack of ephemera title bits. So I'll link those down below in the description in case you want to um, grab anything from the shop. I'll link those as well as everything else that I've used today. And um, so yeah, I think this is coming along nicely. I've managed to keep my negative white space, if you will, with not adding things to the entire layout. I've got quite a bit of negative space going on. And of course, I've used that negative piece of my cut file for my big leafy part at the bottom there. 
So I think I've done this challenge or this technique um, some justice today, hopefully. And I'm just finishing this up by popping up some of these flowers. And I've grabbed my white acrylic paint, which I've watered down just with some water. And I'm just going to flick this on here to add some white splatters to my layouts. I really, really love doing this on darker pattern paper layouts. It just adds... Um, a little bit of pop and a little something it just to me it just makes it look more finished and I just love how that looks so I wanted to add um, a couple little things to the bottom yet so I'm just going to finish up this bottom cluster I'm going to add this little geo tag with the heart to the top and I'll grab these little wordy pieces for the bottom so I'm just going to add two down there I feel like that's um, that's pretty good. I don't want to add a ton of stuff because again, I want to keep that negative space. Sometimes it's really hard for me to not fill in all the gaps and to keep negative space. So I'm just going to add these two things and then I'm going to um, adhere my last little floral cluster to the bottom there using some more of these, these 3D foam squares. So I've got that going and I need to add just one more thing. I know I should be done at this point, but I'm not. Actually, two things. I forgot about this flare. So I add two things. I add this one flare on here. I'm going to use my usual glue dot sandwich for this and um, put a glue dot on the back of the flare and then some thread twiddled in behind it and then another glue dot or two to actually adhere it down to my layout that way all that thread stays put it's not going to go anywhere it's not going to fall off because when you add that thread to the back of your flare you kind of lose all of your adhesive so i like to put it on both sides so that's on there i decided to tuck some more thread in here because i wanted some balance i love balance in my layouts and a nice visual triangle so i wanted to add a little bit more of the colored thread here i actually when i sewed um sewed sewn sewed yeah sewed when I sewed or stitched I'll just say stitched when I stitched my big leaf on the back I actually just used gold thread instead of my normal white or black I just thought that was a really pretty color it's hard to see unless you look up close it's hard to see in this frame a little bit but it is there I did do the stitching with my machine Here's my son coming in. He found this leaf um, chipboard that was just laying on the floor. I must have dropped it from another layout. So he's going to be coming in with that thinking I need to add it on. And I'm sprinkling these sequins on. So this really is the last thing that I'm going to add to this layout. I promise. I'm keeping my negative space. But I really thought this layout needed a bit of sparkle. So I'm using the, I believe it's called King's Canyon if I remember right. It's a sequin mix by Catherine Polar that's just absolutely gorgeous for fall layouts. I love the colors in it. I've been using it a lot lately. So I'm going to grab that today and I'm going to just add these sequins uh, with my Nuvo glue and my sequin tool here. This is my son. He just came back from uh, our farm down the road, which hopefully we will move to at some point but we are working on the house renovation there now. So it's been a bit crazy around here, but he just came back from helping feed the cows and I'm just finishing up adding these sequins. So that's going to do it for this one. I'm just going to finish adhering all of these. Again, I'll link everything down below for you if you want to grab anything from the shop. If you have any questions at all, please feel free to ask me in the comments down below. So here's how this one turned out. I love this. It's going to go in my display case up on my wall for a bit. So thank you guys so much for watching. Thanks for being here and I hope I've inspired you to create something. Bye-bye.